Welcome to Avon Meets Food, where I share my passions for making food, eating food, as well as traveling the world to discover and eat even more delicious food. Today we're going to be making a very simple, very healthy Chinese Vietnamese dish, and it's going to be ginger scallion garlic steamed salmon. In Chinese cuisine, ginger, scallion, garlic are often considered the holy trinity of Chinese cooking, particularly in Cantonese cooking, and we're going to be using those really, really delicious aromatics today to infuse and flavor the richness of the steamed salmon. This recipe is definitely one of my go-tos in the kitchen when I want to make fish, but I'm not quite sure how I want to prepare it. It's very quick, it's very easy, you can basically have dinner on the table in less than half an hour and with a gentle steam that cooks the salmon, you don't even have to worry about dried out fish. So it's definitely going to be moist and delicious. So if you like what you see today, I would really love it if you would subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. If you subscribe, please make sure to remember to hit the bell icon below so that you can get immediate notifications as soon as I upload my next video. So to get started, we're going to take a look at our mise en place. So just a handful of ingredients, so about two tablespoons of neutral oil. I've got canola. We also have the same amount of oyster sauce, so two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of light soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, as well as one teaspoon of sugar. I've got brown sugar here, but of course you can use white sugar as well. And then here's the holy trinity. So we've got the garlic, finely shredded, some green onions or scallions. This is about, I think three, three scallions, just the green parts, and then three cloves of garlic finely minced. And then for garnish at the very end, we have some finely shredded green scallions, so just the white parts, and some cilantro or fresh coriander. And then if you're curious about the brands of oyster and soy sauce that I like to use, this Lee Kum Kee brand of premium oyster flavor sauce is what I always have in my fridge. And then for the soy sauce, I like to buy Pearl River Bridge brand. This is for the superior light soy sauce. And of course we have the fish. I've got about a pound and a half of wild salmon. I've got fillets. You can also use salmon steaks as well as salmon heads, which would be even more tasty than what we have here. And I've separated these into two pans because I'm gonna do two sets of steams. I don't have a big steamer, so we're gonna to have to do these separately. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all of the ingredients that are not the garnish into a little saucepan. So oil, soy sauce, oyster sauce, black pepper and the sugar. And of course the holy trinity, the ginger, the garlic and the scallion. Looks yummy. Stir this up. So the last step of this sauce is just to simmer it over the stove for just a few minutes until it gets nice and bubbly. So I'm gonna do that right now. We just want to heat the sauce through until it's nice and fragrant and bubbly. And then we'll let it cool down just a little bit before we pour it over the salmon. So if you can believe it or not, that was the hardest part of preparing the salmon, making the sauce. So we've let this cool down and now we're just going to pour it over the salmon evenly. And that was really it. So now we're just gonna pop this into the steamer, steam it for about eight to 10 minutes, and then check it to make sure that it is nice, tender, and cooked through. So that was a quick eight minutes. So we're gonna unveil the fish now. Woo! Look at how all those fish juices came out. It's melding with the ginger, the garlic, the scallion, the oyster soy sauce mixture. Mmm. You can even tell all the salmon fat leaching out. 
That was super quick. Whole kitchen smells incredible right now. So I'm just gonna serve a little bit of this salmon for myself. So I'm gonna just take just half of this filet, plop it onto my plate. Make sure to scoop up some of this delicious sauce mixed in with this fish juice that's come out. And don't forget to garnish with that remaining scallion as well as the cilantro or the coriander. Add some nice freshness and brightness to this. Okay, so we're gonna do a taste test of this fish. It's really, really nice and tender. Mmm, sopping up all of that nice sauce. Eat it with some rice. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that sauce stained with the salmon really just makes magic in the steamer. This is totally like comfort food right now, the steamed fish. So, so good. A nice savory, salty, slightly sweet flavor. And then those fish juices are just really, really blending in well with all those different sauce ingredients. This rice is perfect to sop up that sauce too. I just love this fish. Super simple, really easy, very quick, healthy. And really just a great showcase of how delicious and easy Chinese Vietnamese food can be in your home kitchen. So I really hope this video has inspired you to make this delicious steamed salmon dish the next time you feel like you want fish at home. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear what your favorite fish recipe that you've ever made is in the comments below. Please subscribe for more food, more travel, and more eating as I explore the world to find delicious new things. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.